in our last video we have discussed about that how to read the prescription card and in this video we will learn about that how to read the printed slip of the auto refractometer now we have a patient of 15 years of age and now we will perform the auto refractometer now we will start our refraction unit now we will learn about the different parts of the auto refractometer this is called the chin rest where the patient will put his or her chin and this is called head rest and this section is for the examiner this is called joystick this is screen and now we will perform the auto refractometer on a patient the position of the patient is very very important and as you can see the patient is unable to approach at the chin rest so we have to elevate the chair put your chin on the chin rest and touch your forehead so this is called the proper position of a patient on the auto refractometer So first of all we have the section of the name of the patient and then the date and the time. The date is 22 March 2021 and the time is 7.14 pm. This date and the time is very very essential, very important for the follow up of the patients, for the further checkups and this is the slip number and the next is the VD. The VD means this is the abbreviation of the vertex distance and you know that the back vertex distance is actually the distance between the posterior surface of the lens to the anterior surface of the cornea. This is called the back vertex distance. The back vertex distance is the distance between the posterior of this lens to the anterior of his cornea. This is called the back vertex distance of the patient and this back vertex distance is extremely essential, extremely important when we are prescribing the higher prescription. So the back vertex distance of that patient is 12 millimeter and this is called the CYL mean the cylindrical correction and the cylinder in this auto refractometer in minus mode. So this auto refractometer will give minus cylinder now this is right eye this r for right eye as you can see this s mean the spherical correction the c mean the cylindrical correction and the a mean the axis of the cylindrical correction so this patient has minus 0 0.75 spherical with no cylinder and with no axis now this S and E mean the spherical equivalent and now we will learn about the spherical equivalent. Suppose we have minus 2 spherical correction with minus 1 cylindrical correction and axis of the cylinder are 90 degree. So now we are gaining the spherical equivalent of this prescription. In spherical equivalent we actually take half of the cylinder to the spherical correction. So the half of the cylinder is minus 0 0.5. So minus 0 0.50 will add in the spherical correction. As you can see the minus 2 is spherical and we are at 0.5 cylinder in the spherical correction. So the resultant value, the resultant spherical would be minus 2.50 spherical and this is called 
the spherical equivalent so in spherical equivalent we have to add half of the cylinder in the spherical correction but algebraically and now we have another example of the spherical equivalent we have spherical correction which is plus 0 0.5 cylindrical correction which is minus 1.25 and axis of the cylindrical correction are 86 and now we will take the spherical equivalent so in this prescription we have cylinder which is minus 1.25 this is cylinder these are axis of the cylinder and this is spherical and in spherical equivalent we actually have half of the cylinder to the cylindrical correction so the half of the cylinder would be minus 0 0.75 and this minus 0 0.75 will add in the spherical correction so we have plus 0.5 spherical and we will add this minus 0 0.75 which is half of the cylinder in the spherical correction so the resultant value or the resultant spherical correction would be minus 0 0.25 right so this is called the spherical equivalent of this prescription hope you understand now finally we have pd pd mean is actually ipd ipd means is intrapupillary distance the distance between the two pupils of the eyes right so the ipd of that patient is 63 millimeter and this is given by the autoreflectometer 